Welcome to the Amber Mire. Back in the day, some Jacobs, whose name I don't remember, lined the swamp with oil rigs. But now, it's just an oily graveyard. Anyway, the rogue base should be up ahead. We need to make contact with my crew leader, Archimedes. He'll sort this all out. I'll kill you! I used to run smuggling ops against all the corporations. In fact, we tried to steal some firearms from Montgomery and Jacobs. Archimedes made it out all right, but I got caught. Instead of throwing me an anvil, Wainwright's daddy offered me a job. I've been working for the Jacobs Corporation ever since. Montgomery Jacobs taught me that effort was just a price. And if you want to survive this shit storm of a galaxy, you better know yours. You gotta hand it to the Calypso twins, wrangling an entire army of devoted followers for free. Bet the corporation wished they thought of that, instead of treating the malcontents and air breathers of the galaxy like yesterday's dead skin. Don't say I didn't warn ya! Fingers getting tired over here.
room for one to four badasses round here. Reminds me of my first piano recital. Damn, that's Cassie. Best smuggler in the rogues. At least she was. Forget his name, but guess it don't matter now. I ain't gonna put the candy back in that pinata. Me and that fella used to be the pride of the vastlands. Now he's just cold cuts and guts. ID. Guess he's really gone. Grab a security ID, Vault Hunter. We might need it. All right, we should check the security console. Initializing security protocols. Scanning. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, when's Archimedes coming back? Said to hunger down. Extraction ain't happening today. Maybe tomorrow. How long does he think we can keep this fragment hidden? Swamp's crawling with COV. Hey, what the hell? How'd they find us? Someone got the drop on my rogues and took the fragment. But I ain't no detective. Good thing I've got something pretty damn close. Hit that button over there. You see, from time to time, a smuggler needs to drop his cargo in a hurry. So, the rogues use a special loot tracker, designed it myself, with that baby. We can hunt down lost cargo across the entire planet. But in this case, we're gonna track down that fragment and the traitor who stole it. Access denied. Damn, forgot about that. See, every rogue has a security ID, like the one you picked up from that bloody mess that was my man Archimedes. Looks like whoever killed my rogues was smart enough to take the rest of their IDs. Good thing I still got a few live agents in the field. You'll need to get their IDs before we can activate the loot tracker. Let's start with Agent D. He's the closest. Make contact with D while I alert the others on a secure line and tell them you're coming. Coming in! Agent D is a master of disguise. And traps. And a hell of a pole dancer. <laughs> Which is more useful in this galaxy than you might think. You'll see. Agent D's been running a honeypot. He's got them COV hypnotized. Until you signal D to break cover, those bandits won't lift a finger. Figures. Those dumb bandits fell for Tyreen because no one else here loved them or looked at them. But that ain't a reason to burn down the galaxy. And Fook over there was making eyes at your sister. Ha! 
A new chapter in this saga. into something more comfortable. There's a traitor among us, and you need my ID. All yours, babe. Whoever the traitor is, Clay's gonna tear him limb from limb if I don't find him first. Smooth operator. Now it's time to track down Quietfoot, hunter by trade, dead drop master. Been setting up listening devices to gather intel on the COV. Let's check his dead drop and see what he's been up to. Still can't believe one of my roles went rogue. Name. Language, right? That's all we my bad. I never took up painting! Someone definitely sold out the rogues, Clay. See, I infiltrated an 
offshoot of the Reekwater gang called the Mudnicks. Turns out Aurelia Hammerlock offered one of the rogues the Eden 7 system in exchange for a key fragment. Don't know who yet. If you don't hear from me, buddy, then assume the worst. I'm either dead or captured. But come find me anyway. I'd do it for you. Quietfoot's a crazy bastard. <laughs> we go way back. You gotta find him, Vault Hunter. Common Vault Hunter. Clay said he was working with some serious muscle. I'm in a secure location overlooking a dock full of COV. Need some help clearing them out. We'll talk after. Thanks.
Maybe Aurelia is right about loyalty. All comes down to a paycheck. All right. Now shoot the console. Just kidding. Don't do that. That's an amazingly expensive piece of tech. Just scan the IDs and activate the loot tracker. Access granted. This is the most sophisticated tracker money can buy. Beats drones, bots, you name it, in every conceivable test. And without further, you know, that fancy word for waiting, here it is. The loot tracker. Hello, Jabber. I use one of these for an ancient job. Look to known smuggler secret. You want to find something? Use a jabber. Fast as hell, got a nose like a bloodhound. We digitized that little bastard so it doesn't crap everywhere. I ain't no turd farmer. Now follow that jabber. Ado! Ah, that's the word. Without further ado, learn that from a guy I killed. Real egghead. Holding a book and everything. You know, despite being betrayed by one of my own, it feels good to be back in the field. Even vicarious. That's a fancy word to learn from that dirty kill. Helpful guy. Maybe should have chatted him up a little more before I offed him. Get him! trying to tell us something. Jabber's saying the fragment's just up there. Nice job, little Jabber. Do your thing, baby. All right, Vault Hunter. Let's get that fragment and find out who betrayed the rogues. Traders, Vault Hunter. 
Got the fragment, boyo. As I knew you would, Vault Hunter. After all this is done, you should join the rogues. We could use someone like you. <laughs> I should tell you, Aurelia offered me a small fortune to turn against Wainwright, y'all. But I didn't take it. Montgomery Jacobs he was the closest thing to a father I had. Well, those Calypso twins murdered him, and Aurelia helped. So when you and Wainwright are ready to make a move, you let me know. And for the record, I ain't in it for the money. Hunter, Clay says the operation was a success. Well, I've got good news as well. I know where the third fragment is. It's right under the harpy's snout. We can nab it and open the vault all in one fell swoop. Supreme intelligence, you know. Glad to have so many badasses on our side. One fragment down, two to go. Nice. That leaves only one more fragment. Once you acquire it, I will join you at the vault. Tannis, I don't like this. Lilith, I understand your concern, but the facts remain. The Calypsos will come to feed on the vault monster. My presence is required to ensure that when they arrive, their dinner plate will be empty. Trust me, Lilith, it has to be me. It's her choice to go down, Lilith. And we have to do something where the Calypsos get exactly what they want. I know that. Tannis, I trust you. It's your call. Thank you, Lilith. And Ava, human emotions are well outside of my expertise, but I must state the obvious. Troy Calypso killed Maya, not Lilith. There is enough fighting going on out there. This may not have been the family you signed up for, but it is the one you have. Tannis, I... Ugh. She'll figure it out. What's the plan then, Lilith? Wainwright knows where the final key fragment is. We go for the vault. This time, if the Calypsos come, we'll be ready for them. Wainwright seemed pretty revved up. I can't blame him. Who wouldn't jump at the chance to take back what was stolen from them? I'm not arguing with you, I'm a
It's a good thing I can't feel boredom because Yowza! Time to help a Xenogeologist! I've got another Classless mission ready to go! This request came from a science guy named Miles Brown who lives on Eden 6. I didn't really understand all the science words, but it sounds like he needs your help with rocks! Thrilling! Vault Hunter, I got the fire in my breast and a gun in my hand. We gonna take back the last key fragment, and I figured out where it is. The Jacob's Powder Cellar. Great. What's a powder cellar? Well, that's where my family cascades our signature gunpowder. My father must have hidden the fragment in a barrel of Grand Reserve black powder before the Calypsos arrived. Clay knows a secret way to get in. Go and meet up with him. This'll require a two-pronged attack. Vault Hunter, while you infiltrate the cellar, Alistair and I will slip past the Harpy's Zealot Guard. Tonight, we take back Jacobs. Here, here. I'm over by the waterfall when you're ready, Vault Hunter. Have a good one. She's done to Wainwright and the people of Eden Six. She must answer for her crimes, but she is still my sister. If I could speak with Aurelia face to face, I might convince her to surrender. Enough blood has been shed, and sometimes the bonds of family can be repaired. I ask only for a brother's chance. Follow my lead. Montgomery Jacobs showed me this little side entrance back in my smuggling days. He was a great man. And I owe it to him to see that the Jacobs Corporation gets back in Jacobs' hands. Wainwright will make a damn fine head of the company, assuming any of us make it out of this alive. Let's get a move on. Secret waterfall tunnel! Brilliant! Love this cake. Yeah, Jacob's family loves their secrets. This passage will put you right underneath this stake. Stay smooth, operator.
That passage should have put you smack dab in the powder cellar. The barrel delivery pipe ain't far. Get moving and watch your stray shots. Welcome to Dr. Z's Mods and Meds. I'll take anything off your hands sooner or later. Chili recipe dies with uh, me! Yeah. You're gonna regret coming here! You'll get yours! Bub.
It's a closet full of color-coded levers and dials. Winnie, you didn't tell me we needed to solve an elaborate puzzle. Nonsense. An elaborate puzzle is its own reward. Vault Hunter, all you have to do is push the request button by that delivery pipe and open the tube near you. We'll solve this puzzle over on our end. Let's see. That's this lever here. Crank back the amplitude here. Winnie, hurry. If my sister finds us... Set the dial to Cupcake, pull the silver chain, and here it comes, Vault Hunter. Definitely not. Damnation. Alistair, look around for clues. I found a stuffed fish with a code on it. That'll be the answer. Alistair, read me the clues and I'll solve it. I'm hardly in the mood to... Oh, fie. Here, Eagle Crab 7 Windigo. This is the fun part, Alistair. Try and enjoy it. There, the code's in. Vault Hunter, hit the request button. This time for sure. Wasn't meant to be. Hells, bells, the fist was a red herring. Watch out for more zealots, Vault Hunter. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Near the gardens. I'll open up the way for you. 
Just follow the conveyor system out of that room. <laughs> Aurelia, as your brother, I implore you to stop this. Step aside, Alistair. Well, I trim the last loose end of the Jacob's line. If you want to kill Wainwright, then you will have to... Yes, I know.
me. Well, you were shot just as much as I was. Oh, I'll be fine. Not the first time I've had lead in my belly. Just have to clench. Ha! Oh. Thank you, Volt Hunter, for giving her every chance and humoring a blinded fool of a brother. You two aren't about to croak, are you? We will survive the trip back to the lodge. It's up to you to finish the task, Vault Hunter. Right. The vault. To reveal the entrance, you'll have to solve some light statue-based riddles out in the gardens. You rich folk and your riddles and puzzles and genuine mourning of dead family members. Oh. Oh, I do apologize. Are you hearing this, Alistair? The Vault Hunters lost all whimsical intrigue. Forgive Winnie, he gets cranky when he's been shot. Do just try solving the riddles, Vault Hunter. The first statue is out there on the terrace. You just have to recreate how the subject died. Once you clear the path to the vault, I will join you with the rest of the vault key. That's the founder himself, Singleton Talbot Jacobs. Quite the eye for detail he had, even if it caused him to miss the big picture. Listen to the recording for a hint.
of one. First Jacobs to sell firearms to someone without a mustache. A man of great vision and greater greed. It was him that made Jacobs into a galactic name, even if it was just a means of lining his wall. as much as you do. <laughs> yes, I do suppose the heart of an adventurer still beats with him. Not the first time I punched a statue in the clutch. Won't be the last. Right. 